Hey everybody, how you doing today? This is your girl, my lady. So, I am in my workshop making a wreath and I am using my wood burner tool to cut my mesh. So I just want to show you in case you're interested or want to know how you do it. Well, I am here to show you. This is my wood burning tool over here, and it just had one temp. This thing get really, really hot. Now, I'm just cutting mesh today that I don't think it'll be a problem with me wearing my um, heat gloves. Normally, I will hit, uh, wear these fireproof gloves, but Pray that I don't burn my hand today, so we're not gonna put them on. So let me show you, let me put you down here so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm doing a 12 inch. And what you wanna do when you're cutting your mesh, go in between the seams. For instance, I'm doing a 12 inch, and my 12 inch mark is right here. So you don't have to be right on the 12 inch, but as close as possible as you can get. So all of your mesh would be looking the same size. So I am going between the seams. Now some mesh that you cut won't be as quality as this. This is one of the high quality pieces right here. One day I will give a tutorial on the less quality. But yes, I am going in between the seams at 12 inch. And keep it as flat as possible because if you raise it up, your wood burning tool will get on this and it'll make it wider. So stay on the tip. Stay on a tip and you're fine, and keeping it flat, you're flat fine. So we're just gonna go ahead so I can add some curls to the wreath that I'm making. In the meantime, go to my website, myladiesworld.com, and it's not a posture in between the S and the Y. It's just L A D Y S, myladiesworld.com. VK3 Reef and Things. So go there and check out some of my videos. Um, subscribe to my website. Share, share, share. Because I am giving away a free reef for people that share my videos, my pre-recorded videos or my lives. And I am writing all of their names down and when I do my giveaway, your name will be in the box. I had said at first I was gonna, whoever texts me to a number, I'll put your name in the box, but it ain't going to be that easy. You do something for me, I do it for you. Because material is not free. So, that's what I decided. I've been asking people to share, share, share. They won't lift a finger. But wants to know the phone number again so they can be in the drawing. It's not that going to be that easy. You do something for me, I do something for you. And it don't cost you a penny. I can see if it costs something. But uh, anyway, back to the wood burning. You see how I'm going in between the seams and how smooth the cut is coming out. Look how smooth the cut is coming out.
I have a rotary cup uh, cutter but this seems to work best on mesh because when you're cutting it's gonna adhere those layers together to keep to help stop the fraying it's not gonna stop it all the way but it helps it helps 95% of the time it helps a lot I never use my scissors to cut. I'm either using my rotary cutter or my wood burning tool. Now, my rotary cutter is good too, so, but I just like this, the way this wood burning tool leaves your mesh. And don't forget you leave it, you're leaving it flat. Not lifting it up. I can show you a scrap piece what it does when you lift your mesh up while you're cutting it with the wood burning tool. If I can find a scrap piece, I will show you after I finish with this. This wreath will be on my website tonight. Go and check me out. I have a lot of fall, Christmas, winter, few breast cancer. If you don't get your breast cancer now in time, you can purchase it and have it in time for next year. Right now, I have summer and spring on sale on my website, myladiesworld.com. I think I have 30% off. Go and uh, check that out. You'll have it in time for uh, next spring and summer, this coming spring and summer. looking cloudy here in my little Georgia town. It's going to be cloudy all day. And only 20% of precipitation. I try to do two reads a day. I am having um, going to a holiday market Thanksgiving weekend, and I am trying to make up a lot of reads for that. Also, plus my website, Etsy, Facebook. So you can order on Facebook, my website, Etsy, but I always tell people to go to my website because just randomly somebody looking on Etsy and maybe run into me is fine, but I always try to market my website. MyLadiesWorld.com You can read my story How I got started And just find out a little bit about Me and my business
see it's coming along. I'm almost done. I think this is one of the best things that happened to mesh cutting. And the temper glass is one of the best things that happen to crafting when you're using something hot. Fireproof glass. Before I knew about the fireproof glass, underneath my glass, I tore up my mat. I burned it completely up. Then I had to turn it over to do my other crafts because one side was all burnt up until I figured it out what I needed. I didn't order a couple of things before I ordered the, the tempered glass that didn't really work. You know, reading the description under some of the products you think what they're telling you is the correct thing that you need but I had to go through like three orders before I got the right thing. So that's what you need to cut with your wood burning tool is um, some temper glass and you can get it right from Amazon. If you wanna know the particular one that I'm using just uh, send me a message and I will tell you exactly where I got mine. Because I wouldn't want you to go to three tries like I did to get the right one. I even went to a local company, a local glass company. Thank God the right person wasn't in there because I think they would have charged me an arm and a leg. I just came back home and just started doing some more research and ran into uh, this. Watched a couple of videos and I mean, I did extensive uh, research trying to find the right glass and three tries, wasting money. So I got the right one. And this is a good size. I think it's like 20 by 16 or something like that. I can measure it right here. Let's see. 24 by 18. Nice size. from pulling it because you could use this. Get those staples out. Like I said earlier, it don't have to be exact. And this, if it's not 12 inches, it's almost. 
and a lot of you can tell this is high quality because a lot at the end when you get to the end you can't use it okay so you see this is a little over 12 inches so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut this end off to make it a little bit more even from having them all over the place. I should have been doing this as I went along. So well good looking in your city or your state. I see some sun trying to peep out. A little bit trying to peep out. I'm acting like I'm worried about it today normally. I would have to put up like a big sheet to keep the sun off of me because I'm right at the garage door. But I'm acting like I'm missing the sun. Yeah, I mean, it be burning. I have to put up that sheet. So we got a little bit out the way, out of our way. Just stack the rest there. So I can have room for my big 18 inch. So everybody, that is how you use your wood burning tool on your mesh. Simple. Look how that cut is. Nice and smooth, no fraying on both ends. Nice and smooth, just a little bit. You can manage that. I am doing curls on this reef, so the little fraying it do have, like I told you, you can't get stop the fraying completely. You can stop it like 95%, and that's a lot for uh, for mesh. So come and join me. Set your notifications so you'll know when I'm going live. I'll be coming live for. A lot of little things, not just reefs or anything, but set your notification. Go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, My Ladies World Instagram. Go follow and like and share. My Ladies World, of course, is right here. So go follow, like, and share on all my platforms. Go to my website and subscribe to my website. And uh, I would highly appreciate it. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.